As Harold say, every project starts on the bandsaw. His is not as grungy as mine is though. Hi Harold. Hello and welcome back to the shop. So today uh, we have a bit of a weird project. And what you see on my left here is a uh, air compressor that's unfortunately bit the dust. This was given to me and uh, as I suspected the actual motor is gone. Replacing the motor and everything else I mean these units can be had used for as low as 60 bucks uh, no maybe a hundred hundred and some odd dollars they're really not that expensive anymore so even though this was an oil filled compressor and it was kind of sad to see it go uh, I can't fix it so I'm not gonna try to I'm gonna use the compressor itself as uh, spare parts so it's gonna go into my junk pile but what I'm really interested in are these two tanks which they're a bit scuffed on the outside but they're actually in very very good condition I pulled out the drainage plug and usually you can find all sorts of gunk and crap in there it's clean so this compressor is at very low hours on it and not a lot of air in here so what I did was I actually I bought some parts and uh, I should say some fittings and a hose but uh, the the main aim of the project is going to be to use the uh, this compressor and or I should say these tanks to add volume to my original compressor. I have a very small DeWalt unit which I'm about to show you. So this is the DeWalt unit I have and this was also a freebie. Uh, turns out the main issue was uh, actually a leaky gauge and I had one in my parts bin and so basically this one was fixed for a couple of dollars but I always felt that this tank was actually kind of tiny and uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna remove the outlet fitting connect it to a hose from the hose is gonna go into these tanks and then from these tanks we're gonna get air out so at least that so I'm going to take a page out of AVE and use a large nut rounder and I uh, figured I'd show you guys this this is a fitting right uh, quarter inch adapter basically and uh, I want to screw it into this but I want to put Teflon right tidy lefty loosey right so if you go right if you wrap this right it actually makes it tighter if you wrap it the other way around when you're screwing it in it makes the tough one looser so what you really want to do is you want to make it tight so you don't have to go crazy with tough one either decided to adhere to the KISS standard and uh, these tanks are going to be directly connected to the compressor and they're just going to expand capability no regulator no nothing it's all going to go through the factory regulator on my compressor so As I mentioned before, here's the factory regulator on the actual compressor. And, uh, well, I've already loosened it. That's getting eliminated. 
and the hose is going to go directly in there. So, the unit sits actually right underneath the lathe and it fits in there wonderfully, as it should. And uh, it's also functional. Some of you may have asked why I did all that compressor work, and this is the reason. I have uh, Lubrica lubrication delivery system now I've tested this actually works the only modification I've made was I removed the 8 millimeter BSP fitting basically a compression fitting and bolted on uh, air fitting here and that's it so oh while I was at it I made a bracket for this I, it's just a straight piece of steel with a couple of side holes on there bolted onto this on the existing hole but I wanted a light to go along with it and yeah I could have cut a metal bracket but instead I decided to 3d print one and uh, I think it came out rather nice so the bolts sandwich this piece of steel together with a plastic bracket 100% infill, it's made out of ABS, so shouldn't melt due to heat or any problems. And uh, just to prove, yes, it does work. So let's switch it on. So I wanted to show this part. Actually, I just finished machining this. It's all machined on the lathe, except for the um, drilling. I drilled this on the angle on the on the drill press link in the description um, <clears throat> in any case what this is is um, import diamond a uh, chunk of uh, steel that I cut it was actually shafting I cut this part sliced it off drilled it at an angle offset this for whatever reason made the bottom flat and uh, cross drilled it, tapped it, or this screw over here. So that locks it in place. And this allows me to do basically this. So the spindle is pretty warm. And uh, Time to dress the wheel. So I figured let me show you guys this. This is a, a diamond holder. This is an import diamond. Shortened the rear of it quite a bit so it can fit into my holder. And uh, after putting my surface grinder together and getting this part done, I uh, addressed the wheel and decided before I start cutting in the chuck I needed some practice. Because you can actually burn metal with this surface grinder. I've seen it before. So, with that said, I decided to grind the actual fixture for the diamond. And uh, I have to say, I'm actually rather pleased. It's, it's 
almost ringing to the actual table here like almost feels like there's some stiction there uh, I'm not sure if it'll actually ring to a, a gauge block but I don't want to take a chance in damaging my well rather worn out gauge block set so what the heck I surface ground this whole thing and yes it's full of fingerprints at this point I give it a little bit of a bath so you can get some of the dust off I couldn't surface grind into this portion here I don't even know why I actually went in but I did and it actually kinda looks nice so, this is the wheel dresser and I wanted to leave the outside full of scale actually just wanted to dress this basically three out of four sides and there it is I think it actually looks rather good part three and uh, it's funny these two ground pieces now they almost they want to ring together see either that or there's some residual magnetism which doesn't seem to be all over the chuck so in either case uh, is this chuck perfect no not even close this there's uh, gouges and grooves all over it but it's an old chuck and uh, it fits this machine nicely now all I need to do is mount the back rail and um, drill a chunk of steel and create the, this rail as well the backspace rail and uh, that'll be another time because for now I'm done. Uh, to recap, the actual fog busting unit thing, um, it worked. It's uh, it's 
not bad. Um, with that said, uh, I actually had slightly better luck uh, cutting the chuck with um, WD-40. So, not a bad deal. Feels smooth. If you like this, subscribe, comment. Alrighty, be well. Bye.